We'll guide you through how to set up Twitch alerts in OBS Studio. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Twitch alerts are super useful as when you go and get a follow, a subscription, etc., an alert will go and appear on your stream. So let's get started. What we need to do is go and head to the Twitch site, make sure you're signed in and go to the top right and click on your profile icon and click on create a dashboard. Then go over to the left and you need to select alerts. Go over to the right and you can click on create alert box. Now on the left here, you can go and choose the different things and go and customize them. At the moment, we've got a new follow selected. So when you go and get a follow, this will go and appear. You can go and edit it by coming over to the right. You can go and choose the general settings, the layout, text and speech, visuals and sound, celebration. So you go and get the idea. So for example, you could change it to a flamethrower like so. Then click on save changes and you can go and preview it. And then you can go and see, let's say you want to change the image, click on visuals and sound, come down to image library, or you can upload your own one as well. And what you can do is choose what you want. I could use this phantom here, for example. And so you can go all through the different settings and fully customize it. And what you can then do is come over to the left and go through the different variants, for example, subscriptions, and we can then go and customize each of these. Just make sure you save the changes as well. So go through all of this and customize them to your liking. Now that you've done that, to go and add them into OBS, go to the bottom right where it says browser source URL and press copy. It's hidden just for privacy reasons. Then you can come to OBS, come to the scene you want to do this in and click on the plus at the bottom of sources and you can go and click on browser. We can press okay. And then you where it says URL, delete what's currently in there, right click and press paste. And you can then paste in the link you copied. And like so it's now been added. You can click, hold and drag and you can go and resize it to your liking. Now, just to go and send a test alert to show you it's working, click there, we'll return to OBS. And as you can see, there it is. You can then go and adjust it now that you can go and see it there even more.